Morning, everybody. How you doing? It's uh, Rob from uh, Jersey again. Um, today, I'm going to try a little experiment with the microgreens. I'm going to show you a couple things, um, what you can use uh, and how to do it. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, so anyway, so I took uh, the uh, old uh, water bottles and I cut them down. Again, uh, I'm using half the dirt I used uh, from the first time. This is going to be for a little bit bigger microgreens. This is going to be for my uh, pea shoots and my uh, sunflower microgreens. Then I made these really small ones like this. And this is going to be for like, you know, the smaller uh, seeds like kale, arugula, or the basic salad mix. Um, again, I drilled uh, tiny little holes in the bottom to allow it to uh, drain out and to, uh, you know, be able to wick the moisture from the bottom as well. Uh, also today, what I'm going to do is um, I had an idea, you know, a lot of people don't like, you know, don't want to play with the dirt. And I thought it was a great idea because then we can go like, you know, just with water and kind of like organic. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know if you can see that because of the light, um, that's a cotton ball. That is a 100% uh, organic uh, cotton ball. Okay, they're organic because they're grown organically. They're not sprayed with pesticides. They don't use any kind of chlorine or bleach or any of that stuff to, uh, you know, get it white. So we're going to do that. We're going to experiment with this. This is going to be a really cool experiment because, you know, we'll be able to grow microgreens. Uh, this will be the, the medium and the, the roots will just grow in this instead of, uh, you know, having dirt or soil. And that'll give you a nice clean uh, microgreen to uh, harvest from. So uh, we're going to go over that real quick. So anyway, let's just uh, start with this right here. So this is just dirt. And what I do is I just take it and I tamp it down. Anytime you grow microgreens, you want to tamp it down a little bit. Not really hard. Just want to tamp it down. Make it firm. Don't make it like super tight. You want to allow water to go through. Uh, then I take my seeds. Uh, the peas, uh, so microgreens you have to... Um, you have to soak overnight, you know, or at least six hours. Uh, so the uh, peas you have to soak. These have soaked overnight. The sunflowers as well. They have soaked overnight. They do much better when you let them soak overnight. So anyway, you're just going to take a bunch of these uh, peas. And you're just going to throw them right on top. Right in this little, little terrarium type thing that you built here. All right. Make it kind of thick. Just like that. All right. And just press them down with your fingers. That's it. Then what you do is you take a little bit of water and a spray bottle. I used to, I, I like to use filtered water. Give it a nice good soaking and let that soak in. That'll be perfect. Okay. Again, you can do the same thing here, same process with the sunflower seeds. Going to take them, kind of spread the sunflower seeds out, but get a nice uh, layer in there of sunflower seeds. Press them down a little bit. Now they're going to lay right on top of the soil, just like that. It's going to kind of look like that. Going to spray with some water. Boom, done. And there we go with that. Now these are the... Uh, the basic salad mix, which is a bunch of tiny little uh, microgreen seeds. It's got kale, arugula, red cabbage, um, and there's two other ones. I always forget. But anyway, so I put it in an old uh, salt shaker, uh, garlic salt shaker here. It's got these nice little holes in there. It works perfectly. So then what I want to do here is I want to kind of like maybe wet this little uh, disc out just a little bit so the seeds will stick when I pour them on there. Okay, and that'll be that for that. Okay, I'm going to take these seeds and we're going to sprinkle a good amount right on there. Okay, just like that. And that's going to be perfect amount right there. And what's going to happen is that's going to grow up just like this, except it's only going to be this high. And then you can just cut this perfectly. Just take a pair of scissors like this. Give it a nice good cut. And you have some really nice tasty microgreens. Beautiful little microgreens. These are perfect. And you can add anything to salad, uh, you know, to any kind of meal. You can make a nice presentation on a dish. That's what a lot of chefs do. So, 
They're really, really good. Very nutritious, and they got so much more flavor than the actual plant itself. And that was kale. That was red uh, Russian kale. Oh, it's outstanding. Okay, so anyway, real quick, now we're going to do the cotton bowl uh, ones. Now we're going to do it the same way, okay? So all I did was this. For the smaller little ones that I cut out of the bottom of the water bottles, I took basically uh, two cotton balls. You kind of like pull them from the center and they'll come out to these little rolls like this. I just took them, pulled them apart, right? Folded it in half, made like a little bird's nest out of it. And I tucked it in here just like that. Kind of st stuffed it down. Again, same thing, pulled it out from the center. You know, you don't have to be fancy with this. You're just going to lay, you know, moisten it and lay seeds on it. Now, this is like a great little thing if you want to show your grandkids, kids, anything, how to grow plants. It's a real simple, it's very quick way to do it. I think I used three on that. Let me try three on here. All right, let's pull it apart again. We're going to lay it out nice and neat on there. All right, take this and then we'll moisten it. We'll moisten it with water. It really doesn't shrink down. Again, it's all organic. You got filtered water here. All right. We'll take some more of these seeds and sprinkle them on there. And this is an experiment. We're going to watch this for the next couple days. We're going to push them down on our finger and see how this turns out. I think this is going to be a lot better than trying to sprout it, as you can see, right there. We'll hit it with some water, and there you go. You got a little microgreen dish, all organic, organic uh, growing medium, no dirt, so you don't have to worry about getting dirt on your plants or anything like that. You just probably just be able to pull them out, but we're going to say, and then we're going to do the same thing with a bigger one, and we're going to just, again, throw some water in there. Take some of these beautiful little peas, throw them on there. For the bigger one, I used about, I think, four cotton balls, just enough. And I'll soak them again. And there you have it. Again, you're going to have some beautiful microgreens like this now. You're going to have a smaller one where this is our brand new experiment. We're using a smaller uh, tray on this one. We're going to use organic cotton balls and water in this one. Here are our sunflower seeds and our peas. We've reduced the, the amount of uh, dirt that we use. Actually, it's uh, soil and uh, topsoil and uh, peat moss, a 50 50 blend that I mix. It's going to be like that. This one again, you know, push down on the cotton. We're going to put it in there. I know that light is really, really bad. You know, not, not the greatest video in the world, but uh, there we go. Something like that. And there we go. And there you have it. And then what we're going to do is once you get these all done, you can do a bunch of them, get them all set up. I have about, you know, 10 more of these that I have uh, that I'm going to set up and I'm going to put to a tray, a 10 by 20 tray. I'm going to sit them in here in a 10 by 20 tray and then I'm going to cover them, keep them in the dark for three days. So it's going to look something like this, okay? And each morning I'm going to get up, I'm going to water them, I'm going to spray them down for the first three days, I'm going to spray them from the top. Once they start to grow and start to look like this, I'm going to water them from the bottom. Let that water wick up into there. I'll fill up the uh, 10 by 20 tray with water, let it wick up, drain off the excess water. And then I'll keep the fan on them to keep the microgreens nice and uh, dry. You don't want to let moisture build up on the top because if you get moisture on the top like do on a grass, it's just going to it's gonna wind up wilting them. It's just going to wilt them and it's going to destroy them. Okay? And that's it. Once again, it's Rob from uh, Jersey uh, showing you how I grow my microgreens. All right, everybody have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.